Hey, what's going on there, folks? Welcome back here to a, uh, technically it's a uh, Tuesday morning, right? Monday night here, still somewhat in California. It's about midnight California time, April 16th, 2024. How's it going out there, folks? Didn't get a chance to do a member drawing earlier today, but uh, we will a little bit later on this Tuesday in the afternoon time period. So we'll get that done for the member drawing just got caught up with a lot of stuff here on this side of the menu. Uh, as far as earthquake activity goes, a real quick glance at earthquake activity shows some movement off the coast of Japan with a 5.9 earthquake here around the northern edge of the Filipino plate. Pretty decent earthquake out here, about 8 kilometers deep, very shallow earthquake. If we look at the last 24 hours of earthquake activity out here, we're still lacking some movement roughly around Papua New Guinea eastward along this plate boundary. New Zealand has seen a handful of earthquakes here, including uh, looks like a couple threes there in that area. One super duper deep earthquake here into the, uh, looks like the Maluka Sea area. Notice this ring raised well off the globe. Um, rest of the areas out here, it looks like a 3.0 off the California area. Let's go check and see what's going on out here in the, uh, Northern California region. A couple threes coming in here, one earlier this morning and one, uh, fairly recent within the last few hours, roughly within the same area. Now we have been seeing some trimmer activity out here across the Cascadia recently. So let's see what we got for the recent, uh, trimmer out here. 278 trimmer counts out here. Not a bad amount. Uh, yesterday was a, a little bit elevated. I think we had about uh, 522. So things are still stirring up out here across the uh, southern end of the Cascadia subduction zone. We'll continue to watch that. Uh, across the uh, rest of the California region, mostly smaller microquake activity out here today. And uh, not really a whole bunch going on. Across Mount St. Helens area, looks like a couple smaller earthquakes here. Uh, let me check and see if I have my Mount St. Helens uh, seismograph station up. I do, but I'm not seeing anything showing up here across the area uh, for Mount St. Helens right now. Of course, that was at 2347, so it was a while ago. Probably not showing up here on uh, the current seismograph station. The rest of the area... Smaller earthquake activity out there across the states. One, uh, one or two earthquakes. Maybe it looks like three earthquakes out here earlier this morning into the New Jersey area. Still seeing some aftershock activity following that uh, 4.0 earthquake activity out there in the last week or so. Hawaii still seeing some movement out here across the Pahala area and in, in the uh, Kilauea volcano. Really no major change out there for now. Across the Iceland area. Let's see what's going on here for the latest activity here. Wow. Goodness. <laughs> Not a whole lot going on. Surprise, surprise. Got about uh, 18 earthquakes or so. Uh, and that includes, it looks like, the uh, very smaller earthquakes there in the negative range. So really not a whole lot going on out there for right now. All right, looking at the space weather activity. I'm just going to make this a quick update here tonight, folks, because uh, I need to get to bed. Um looking at some sea flare activity along with a couple M flares here in the last 24 hours it looks like at least five M flares we got one two three four five maybe six here in the last 24 hours or so things have calmed down a little bit here it looks like we're dipping that uh, dipping back down into the lower sea flare category and uh, we do have a couple Sunspots here to watch. Uh, the main areas, I think, are going to be up here across the northeastern limb of the sun. That's going to be sunspot number uh, 3639, the culprit here of uh, M flare or two. We do have a massive area back building out here across the eastern limb of the sun. A couple different sunspot regions taking hold of the picture out here. And uh, I think we have a, a decent threat of some M flares out here from this area as well. Uh, that's a ginormous area if you really think about it uh, compared to uh, these other little small uh, areas of coverage. Uh, this is old Sunspot 35, is it 3615 I think it was? Last time it was uh, out here that produced many M flares when it was in the Earth-directed view. Now 
it's a scattered uh, large region here of, of different sunspot areas. We'll continue to watch that here. Overall threat right now shows about a 99% chance for a C flare. M flare at 60. X flare around 5% chance. Notice the SFI. That's the energy there of the solar uh, earth facing side of the sun. Elevated at about 192. No major roars in the forecast, although it does look like we're seeing a little bit of late arrival CME activity here with the KP index uh, stretching up around the K4 uh, range, it looks like. So maybe some higher regions up there. Elevated, uh, well, I wouldn't say elevated, but a little bit of uh, roars up there across uh, Canada, Alaska, maybe Iceland and Greenland as well. So keep an eye on that. Uh, Storm Prediction Center right now still calls for some severe weather out there across the area tonight. We're looking at... Uh, uh, a decent chance of tornado, wind, and hail threats out there as well as we go into the evening. I was just checking this out. Let me bring up the windy map here. It does look like it's a mainly over uh, overnight threat here uh, for the severe weather across this area. I notice uh, a lot of storms firing up out here around Wichita, uh, northern Oklahoma, around Enid, and Woodward area. Uh, Got to watch out. Got some big time hail threats out there tonight. So hopefully everyone's got their cars in the carport or at least uh, underneath an awning somewhere because we are expecting some large potential hail uh, with these thunderstorms that, that are occurring overnight. Uh, look into the day tomorrow. This is going to be for Tuesday. That severe weather threat stretches uh, towards the northeast a little bit, mainly around the Iowa area, Davenport region, Waterloo those areas looking at a decent chance up there around tornado uh, for a tornado potential, wind and hail threats as well within that region. Uh, a further look here at the numerical models in terms of long stretches of uh, weather models. Well, there's that uh, activity towards the end of the week. This weekend looks uh, like things are going to stir up out here across the Texas area. Uh, looks quite wet out there for Saturday and Sunday. Monday into Tuesday, Wednesday, hard to say. This has been a little bit scattered for severe weather activity, but uh, we'll continue to watch that. This is about midweek here next week uh, around the Texas area. California, oh goodness, that looks like a decent storm system out there. Uh, we'll have to watch that. That's changed. This has been a, uh, a, uh, a decent weather change here compared to what I looked at this morning. So this low pressure system popped up out of the blue. That could spell some severe weather troubles uh, later into next next weekend. But we'll have to watch that, folks. Either way, you know, very active, as I've said it before, a very active period out here of uh, severe weather potential. All right, seismograph stations look pretty calm. A uh, 1.5, the latest earthquake there into Northern California. Uh, we'll continue to watch it. Definitely some deep activity out there around the Indonesia Islands area. Uh, lacking earthquake activity here roughly around the uh, region of Papua New Guinea eastward here along this plate boundary for now. But we'll continue to keep an eye on things. The Atlantic Ocean pretty quiet. And um, we uh, didn't get a chance to do the member drawing here today um I, I know it's technically tuesday but on monday normally i do it on the 15th it's now the 16th so later today after a few hours of sleep um we'll do the drawing out here late uh probably early afternoon we'll just shoot for early afternoon california time here uh tuesday afternoon for the drawing uh we'll provide the uh, member drawing or um the uh live stream here for the members we'll give away some prizes that's kind of what i'm trying to say here so you guys got a extra shot to get on on board here uh if you haven't jumped on board uh become a member today we give away these prizes every single month we've been doing it for about two years now here on this channel you got a chance to win a 50 dollar visa mastercard or amazon gift card of your choice uh, also, um, uh, 11 piece geology mining kit. If you want, if you want that, that can s be sent directly to you. Um, or if you want some earth matter, uh, earth master <laughs> merchandise, 
a lot of times we give out some really cool t-shirts. I'll be wearing a Earthmaster uh, uh, t-shirt tomorrow during the drawing. So check that out. Jump on board. You just just got to click that join button there on this channel. And uh, we'll see you guys back here tomorrow sometime. Um, yeah, I think that's about it. There's really not a whole lot of major activity going on. We'll catch you guys back out here after a couple hours. Well, hopefully I get a, more than a couple hours of sleep. I need a few hours of sleep. I've been up uh, kind of early, but it's been a very busy day here on this side of the microphone. We'll catch you guys back out here a little bit later, folks. Stay safe and uh, peace out.